Happy Holiday Friday! It's no rest for the wicked as this week we are playing Top Trump Tweets. Thousands of people took to the streets to express their opinion about the Donald and lit up social media with the hashtag TrumpNotWelcome. Trump lookalikes, however, seem to do okay. The other Donald, President of the European Council, Donald Tusk, told Trump that he should put principles and values ahead of interests in what appeared to be a tense meeting. And let's not forget that Tusk tweeted last year that one Donald was more than enough. And of course, Craig Winokur and others hadn't forgotten that Trump famously described Brussels as a hellhole. New French President Emmanuel Macron was also in town and got to grips with POTUS with a vice-like handshake. But Danny Kemp reveals what we were all really thinking. Would Juncker lean in for a kiss? Spoiler alert, he didn't. The European Business Summit also generated interest in the bubble this week. Nick Chrysoloris reported that German finance minister Wolfgang Schauble is getting fed up of discussing Greece. Dervla Gleeson spotted this sign and drew the obvious comedy conclusion that Europe is no longer imploding. But many people, including Ryan Heath, doyen of the EU Twitterati, reported that there was a serious gender problem at the mansplaining conference. Better luck next year, EBS. And finally, the rest of the world stood with Manchester, following the horrific attack on a pop concert that left dozens dead or injured. Messages of condolence from EU and world leaders flooded social media, and flags across Brussels were flown at half-mast. And for once, Brexit didn't seem to matter quite as much, as chief EU negotiator Michel Barnier also expressed his solidarity with the UK. This week's roundup is supported by Euroelectric. Join them in Estoril on 19th and 20th of June for their annual summit. And join me again next week for more snarks and larks using the hashtag EUTweets.